Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Snake Doc here, and we are going to do an unboxing of sorts on a Escort shotgun. These are made by Hatson. Serious Solid Impact. Um, here's their website. Hatson.com or dot tr because they are a Turkish company. Now, if you go on their website, you find out a lot of good information. Um, what they are is they are an ISO 9001 certified manufacturer. They have been in business since 1976. They are the number one shotgun manufacturer in Turkey. Um, they specialize in shotguns and air guns. Um, and when I say air guns, I don't mean airsoft. I mean like the high-end air guns, pellet rifles, um, dart style guns for um, either competition or small game or birds or anything like that. Um, they do everything in-house. Um, There's 35,000 square meter facility, 500 plus employees. They have uh, CAD cam, uh, CNC machinings, 3D CAD, um, a 5 access CNC. They do their own barrels, uh, they do their own wood carving, they do their own polymer. They are the only manufacturer in Turkey that is certified to do mossy oak camouflage. So if you're somebody who likes that stuff, um, you know, that's them. And also they do uh, the escort shotguns like this one here are used by police forces there and they export to over 95 countries. So, pretty reputable stuff, even though we may not have heard of them here, does not mean they're junk. So, here's what you get inside the box. This is the owner's manual here, and let's take a quick flip through there. So it's going to have your technical data, controls, it's going to show you how to reassemble, um, and I believe there's a parts list and an exploded dot. Yeah, here's a um, exploded diagram. It's pretty faintly printed, but you can see it there and everything's numbered. And then there's the parts list. Um, so what we have here, I'm sorry the camera moving around so much, but I just, it's too big to do it with a tripod for me to get any kind of decent uh, quality. So it comes with this trigger lock. It's, a, it's actually a nice trigger lock. Not that I would use it, but it's actually a nice trigger lock. Um, it fits perfect in there, and it, it's a pretty stout design. And then the, I bought it from a sporting goods store, and I don't know, they give you one of these chintzy things that hits the trash can. Um, before I dive into that, I do want to show you this, which is pretty remarkable. I've never seen this issued with a shotgun, except maybe like the Mossberg Flex. Um, but what it is, is it's various thicknesses, like here you can see that one's a 5 millimeter minus 1.5 inch. Um, you can change the angle of the stock comb, or the whole stock I guess, not just the comb. Um, and then this, this thing here allows you to cant it to the left or right if so i mean it's like a totally customizable stock setup by using those shim spacers which is pretty remarkable um so here we can see this is a five plus one capacity 12 gauge um i believe it's an 18 and a half inch barrel um not positive it is similar to the 870 where it has the loading gate um, that has to get out, you know, cleared, or as the Mossberg is open. But this has an aluminum receiver like the Mossberg. So you're getting a weight savings over the 870 with the aluminum receiver, which I personally prefer. Um, and then, uh, but you still have the 870 features of um, where your action release lever is, uh, your cross bolt safety. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a cross crossbolt style safety there, a uh, single extractor on the bolt instead of a dual extractor that Mossbergs have. Um, and then from what I've read, um, Benelli Nova 
uh, magazine tube extensions will work on this. So somebody said they put a plus two on theirs, and so they bumped their capacity to seven plus one. Comes with uh, sling swivels, rubber butt pad, some dead decent. It's not great. Um, it needs grip tape here, in my opinion, or stippling. I might stipple that today. Um, and then a slight, it's an ergonomic um, fore end, and it does have uh, dual bars on it, but it's, the polymer is really slippery. Now it does have this indentation here for you to get a good, nice round grip on it, but I would probably stipple in here, um, maybe even stipple down here, depending on where you like to run your pump from. And then we can see the front sight is just a raised bead, if you will. It is round. Um, and then here's what your muzzle end looks like. So, um, this happens to be called the Escort Slugger. Uh, there is another version that's about $20 to $25 more that has a um, AR style stock and you'll see some, there's a couple of videos of that one on YouTube. Um, it has a pistol grip stock, a non-adjustable um, length of pull butt stock, but it does have a, a nice rubber like um, cheek riser that looks like it'd be nice, soft, and comfortable to shoot. And I believe the forend is slightly different where this front section here, there's a molded section of Picatinny rail on there. So you could put a light on there if, if you chose to do so. Um, you can see the top has dovetail sections. So this looks like just regular 3 8 dovetail. Uh, and there's two sections of it there. So if you had like a, a long eye relief red dot, you could put it up here in front. Or if you wanted to do a scope, you know, you could do front and rear with your rings and then scope it. But, you know, home defense shotgun uh, is probably red dot or you could do like a ghost ring rear. Sometimes they make ghost rings um, that fit on that dovetail. So, uh, let's see. So, there we can see the other side of the safety. It does say escort on both sides of the receiver. Um, and then here we can see it says, uh, what I do backwards here? Uh, made in Turkey by Hatson Arms Corporation, imported by Hatson USA. So they do, they're not using like a SDS or a Century Arms or anything like that to, to bring this stuff in. They have their own United States division, which is cool. So it comes in this cardboard box. I'm not going to be able to like run the action or anything because I don't have any way of holding my camera right now. Um, I actually bought two of these yesterday. And the reason why is the, the full, re I don't know about full retail, but the asking price at full retail at the local sporting goods store to me is $199.99 for this. But they had a three-day weekend coupon sale that started yesterday, Friday. Today is Saturday, and it's good through tomorrow, Sunday. Um, these are $149 a piece. So for $150, you know, you can't really go wrong throwing a couple 12 gauges on your property somewhere. Um, it's, a, it's a good idea as a security gun to, you know, it's not a bad option if you can have a place to stash one or two. Um, they're a good thing to have loaded and, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about being so precise with your aim uh, should a situation arise where you needed to uh, maybe take down an intruder. So uh, it is a, a pretty cool buy, I think, for the price. Now, um, slings, uh, this front sling swivel um, is just loose and it rotates. And it's like it on the back side of this cap here. It's it's a nut, and it's kind of like um, uh, kind of like where it's the nut won't really come loose. So I don't know if they brazed it or what, but it's it's on there nice and sturdy. So what you could do is just get yourself a, a regular set of the sling swivels that are spring released, where the pin goes through the hole, and then throw a sling on there. Um, it is aluminum, so you won't be able to run a magnetic shell carrier on there uh, side saddle but uh, I'm not sure if the bolt pattern is going to be the same as 
the 870, and I mean the pin pattern, not the bolt pattern, or the Mossberg um, to be able to potentially use aftermarket things. But I know one of the most popular ones right now is where they do a um, Velcro, a high strength Velcro, and then you put a, it's called a card. You put a shotgun card on here and uh, it Velcros on there and then you can have your side saddle maybe five, four, five, six rounds, something like that there. And then you can always do a buttstock sleeve as well or you can do a bandolier. So it's up to you. Um, or you can just go with your six rounds, you know, your five and one and set your safety and grab it when you need it. But um, I want to do, I'll probably do a shooting video with this and compare it to my Mossberg 500. And my Mossberg is a, a 28 inch vent rib barrel with choke tubes. I use it for uh, clays and skeet and stuff like that. But we can talk about the differences in the way it feels, you know, synthetic, mine's wood. Um, so, you know, this is going to weigh quite a bit less than my shotgun. And mine has a fiber optic bead on the front and it has a polished aluminum receiver. So we'll look at the differences. I want to do a video on that. So I just wanted to make this quick video. And if maybe you guys are in the market, the, um, the sporting goods store that I went to had plenty of these. So it seems like right now, even though there's shortage of U.S. firearms, the Turkish stuff seems to be coming in because I've, um, I recently bought uh, the TSAS PX9. Um, you know, I've seen, um, a lot of Canik available for sale or Canik, however you want to say it. Um, Stoger, I've seen some Stoger stuff. Sarselmas, I've seen lots and lots of the SAR 9s available. I can't believe more people don't buy that gun. It is truly amazing. I mean, it's technically it's a Glock and an HK grip, which, you know, it's almost perfection to me. So... Enough rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Check these out if you like the tactical style. You know, it's like 20 bucks more. Um, they're like $219 at, at the uh, local place for me. You might be able to find them for less online. But uh, in my handling of this, everything, um, it has a nice trigger on it, a real light trigger. Uh, the action of it is solid and steady. Um, when I, if I pick the gun up and shake it, you know, it doesn't make any noise other than that little bead right there that spins around. You can see it spinning now when I'm jiggling it. Um, but it's just a really a well-built item, and it sounds like the manufacturer knows what they're doing. Apparently, if they're getting police contracts and stuff, then, um, you know, that's usually a positive sign, too. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos and always shoot safe.